Hi, beautiful air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your reading for November 2018. This reading covers the areas of love, security, and personal freedom. For the month of November 2018. This channel is called The Witching Hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. Welcome back if you're returning. And hello for the first time to all you newcomers. Love all of you guys, old and new alike. And very happy to see all of you. Wanted to thank you all for coming and for all your love and support that you send each and every day. I'm going to be smudging these cards, which are Sacred Circle Tarot, written by Anna Franklin and illustrated by Paul Mason. And I'm also going to use Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards as just a final inspirational card at the end, a final uh, validation type of card at the end. Which are these, which is wisdom. And those are by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia K. Peters. Illustrated by Richard Crooks. I'm gonna put those on the shelf until we're ready for them. I need a little more smoke here. A little more sacred smoke for the space. Yeah, because I'm gonna be evoking the element of air for you. If you have earth, water, and fire signs in your chart, check out the other readings for the other elements. Earth signs just got an amazing reading. And even though it's a more generalized reading about love and life, it was very romantically oriented. A lot of romantic energy coming in for the earth sign. So if you have earth in your chart, you might want to check that out because it's coming. And now I'm going to evoke the element of air with a blessing written by Travis Bowman. Here and now, I evoke the elemental force of air. The winds of intellect and imagination swirling source of flight, breath, and life. I seek the open sky within myself that I might breathe deep of freedom, ideas, sounds, and space. I call you forth to sweep away all that accumulates in the unseen places and to sing beauty into the world. Wing and feather, storm and leaf, air I call thee hence. Mm, some nice energy coming. Take a breather, air signs. I feel like a lot of you need some time away from the hustle and bustle. Time away from the hustle and bustle. Get away where you can breathe and enjoy your life. Come back to yourself, your true self your true, true self. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, lots of nice, beautiful energy coming through these cards. I pray that you have an abundance of love, security, and freedom.
present, future. Mmm. Guess what you got? Underlying energy in love. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. I'm going to show you all of them. Ooh. Some changes going on. Some life transforming changes going on. I see. I see. This is beautiful so far. Oh, yeah. Brave new world. Brave new world. You're gonna. Oh, you might wanna. Yes. Go someplace where you can breathe deep by the ocean, near the, or near the trees, near a lake, near the water. Get in touch with your feelings again. Get in touch with yourself again. where you can feel some place where you can feel calm and unruffled. That's my prayer for you, my wish for you, my recommendation for you. <laughs> my recommendation for you. I'm gonna move this back a teeny tiny bit. I need just another little inch of space. There we go. So I don't knock anything over. Okay, here we go, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the underlying energy for you. Ace of Cups. Come on now. Come on. Whole new world is what I'm feeling. Whole new world. This one's stuck on the bottom when I picked it up. It's the Knight of Cups. I'm thinking there's some residual love energy. Lingering, lingering. But there's a renewal. A renewal of love. A renewal of love. In the recent past, you have a long-term history with someone, with people, with family, I'm feeling, too. There's a family tradition, a family history, a very familial feeling there. And the underlying energy in the areas of material, emotional, psychological, spiritual security is the card of death. Transformation, complete transformation in your experience of security. And in the underlying energy of freedom, you have courage. With that change going on, yes. You're going to need courage or you have the courage. You've been instilled with the courage is what I'm feeling. You have been instilled with it for sure. You've been instilled with it. So there's no no need for anxiety. Like I said, step away from it all. Go, go, in, go someplace where there's nature, a lot of nature, a lot of air. And breathe in the air and come back to yourself. A lot of history in the recent past to look at a death in the family I'm feeling a passing for someone has passed already because I'm seeing a get together the type where you get together after the memorial service or funeral where there's a gathering you know of the family and friends loved ones of this person who has passed or the people who loved them I'm getting the feeling of someone who was maybe a little emotionally unavailable in, in this, the person who passed. Okay, so there's a lot of history, a lot of emotional clearing out. So this is a watermark for someone and some of you, okay? Or if even if you're, this is like a father figure that has passed a long, long time ago, generations uh, coming from this person, and this person passed a while ago, you were recently reconnecting with the healing energy due to this person's passing you know there was healing energy necessary there were generational things to consider in the emotional turbulence and the emotional movement that was created by this person's passing and also in reflecting about their passing in the recent past okay so whether they've passed recently or long ago a person's death has come to mind for some of you and it's bringing up emotions that are actually 
spiritually connecting you back to your true self, back to your history, back to spirit. And it's kind of, you know, yes, there are some feelings of sadness, but it's also clearing the emotional uh, accumulation. Okay? That's for some of you. And that has taken courage. It has made you want to change your life. It has made you want to live a completely, you want a completely different life than what you had before. In reflecting upon this passing, some, some it was the passing of a very long-term relationship and you have processed it very much like a death, which is very appropriate and very healthy. And I think if some of you are considering actually having a funeral for this relationship, you should do so. If that's a, it, because I'm feeling the creativity mixed with that and I really do believe you should honor yourself regarding that relationship it's about honoring yourself and giving tribute to you because when the a relationship ends there's not a lot of credit given to the person who had the love to give you know there's a lot of focus on the negative behavior of the other person or they're focusing on making you out to be the negative person and and that's not true of you and you were the one who loved and you know so if that's the case for you it's like I feel like you should uh, some someone was thinking of having a funeral or maybe this is idea is inspiring you to do so in your own small way or big way whatever visible or or just only seen by your eyes only it's more or something you want to share with someone or to support you in it or to tell someone about it that you want to do it or after the fact and you have this funeral for this relationship and that you put it to rest and that you write a letter that you, I'm feeling very emotional in my throat that it's like someone wanting to cry and feeling they need to mourn this loss they need to grieve they need to take care of themselves love themselves in compensation for the loss of this relationship yes because things are moving forward Things are moving forward, requiring you. So it's almost like it's time to say goodbye to the past. It is now time to say goodbye to the past because spirit has changed. The momentum of your level of creativity has given you new life and is in the process of giving you new, new life now and you're feeling all of it happening now in the present, that it's time to say goodbye to the past. And it is bringing up matters of security. There's a lot of pentacles, so money or material, tangible, tangible aspects of love right now that you're looking at. Tangible, like what did in fact people do for me? How in fact did people help me? How in fact did they love me? You're looking at what's real you're holding on to what's real and letting go of the illusions of the past that were may have been created or the realities of the past that you no longer want to live with that you're starting anew in love for a lot of you there is it's about security it's all about love is all about security and security is all about self-love and that might be what's turning around for you now. It might, it's like turning the tables is what I'm hearing. So turning the tables. So um, the song by Adele just came into my mind, turning tables. So that might be turning tables. Uh, also, what just came into my mind is <laughs> a, a verse or a story in the Bible in the... Uh, story of Jesus overturning the tables of the money changers in the temple that there is an issue of materialism the tables are being turned for sure in one way and in other ways in one ways the tables are being turned in that something is just being completely turned topsy-turvy you know turned around and then in another aspect tables are being turned like you're getting you're throwing your like Jesus in the temple 
like I'm turning over the money lenders tables because it's an atrocity like to have that in the spiritual realm or in the uh, sacred realm uh, not that material things are bad of course what I mean you I think I know you know what I mean if you're the person this pertains to you understand what I'm saying that um, the you see too much materialism in love. You see too much of it. And it's more about like ambition or things of that nature and, and you're turning the tables on it. You're like, that has no place in love. And you're not opposed to physical material, wealth, abundance, nothing like that. Um, they're not diametrically opposed. Love and money are not diametrically opposed. They're just opposite ends of the spectrum. Is, and I feel that this is what you think. This is, and that's true. And and, but there's like a source, a sense of materialism within the love department, in the areas of love that is like, um. It, there's too much emphasis on it for you, and you are saying no. I'm turning this over. I don't like this materialism in this love, and this spiritual. I want it to change. I want it out of here now. You know, it's like you've had enough. Of this materialism you know ambition and greed um, in the people that you feel that you love it's like you, you you can't stand seeing this for some of you so and insecurity what you're getting is inspiration being filled literally filled by the spirit by spirit of the universe making manifest your dreams they're coming they're like right now you're seeing manifestation of it and it's giving you a sense of emotional security which is building upon transforming your life you are doing it and you're doing it from the ground up from spirit from the non-physical into the physical which is exactly how spirit would have you do it it's like love is the basis of all security love is the basis and foundation of material security so and you're doing it that way and you're like free you're free you're free you are free other people you feel are trapped and you want it out of your life you're done with it it takes a lot of courage to stand in the wings of change is what spirit just said to me and you you are doing that you're doing that gemini libra aquarius air signs you're doing it i'm being reminded to tell you once again look at the other elemental readings that have that are, have placement in your natal charts, okay? Just being reminded to say that to you now. Because of the foundation, because of the foundation. Look where those elements are placed in your natal chart and look at the readings that correlate with those elements, okay? Because it's very grounding and earthy for you right now. There's a lot, and there's a lot of water emotion I'm feeling in these cards, okay? I'm feeling it from the Ace of Cups, but I'm also feeling it from the Death card. There's a lot of emotion regarding these changes in your life that you have made from the ground up. Love, the non-material love is the basis and real foundation for material security, and you're doing it. You're doing it, and you're, you've, it's like, man, you've just created a whole new start for yourself, a whole new start. You have, you've shown the courage You've shown the courage. You're in the you've you're in the last leg of that race. You have the chariot in the recent past of your personal freedom. And I always think of Ben Hur when I see the chariot and how it was a hard won victory and how it was he 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 really had to muster up all of his strength to keep the balance and keep that chariot going and, and keep the speed. And he had so much intense emotion behind needing to win this race. I mean, his very life staked upon it. You know, his very life was at stake in the, in the life of his family. For generations were at stake. And that's what you feel. It's a gen I keep feeling that it's a generational thing that you're changing and turning it around. You're turning tables. You're turning tables. Upheaval. It's all good. I, I, I know these are very strong, intense words, 
but I'm feeling that you've already, you're in the energy of it and you're handling it. It's a lot of strong, intense movement and feeling that you have, you're really getting this done and you feel inspired and motivated by spirit to change these generational habits and patterns and you are doing it. It's all, it's, you're going to be, you are an inspiration to other people who are experiencing the same patterns in their lives. You are going to help people break cycles. You really are. It's going to ripple out to other generations in your time. So not just older people, but older people old, or people older than you, people the same age as you and people younger than you are all going to be affected and not just in your immediate surroundings, but it will ripple out. Because you have the web, which is the card of justice. But it's like karma. It's like nothing we do uh, doesn't affect the rest of the vibratory, like, relational grid that's out there in the universe. Like the spider web, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll, I'll try and give you an opportunity to see it. But here's the spider, and the web is here. And everything you do touches and, and sends a vibratory ripple effect out into the universe and changes the pattern of things like on the grid system of energy out there in the universe. You know, like a stone dropped in the water, a pebble dropped in the water and it ripples out. Same with the vibratory relationship grid is what I'm feeling, energy. Energetically speaking, you're sending out these ripples. So you don't have to be too cognitive and mindful of them. Just keep focused on the emotion of it and how it feels for you and keep steady on, steady on, steady on because you're making changes that will last for generations and for lifetimes is what I'm feeling Spirit say to you, to you, personally, personally. It's you they're speaking to. And in security now... <laughs> In the area of security, you have rest, and you can you can rest assured. This this work is done. This work is done, and you can rest your weary head. There's again, this is the minor arcana death card. So we have the major arcana death card and the minor arcana death card, both present in the area of security. The underlying energy and the future energy. And so I do feel that some of you are going to get an inheritance that, that is a compensation for all the vibratory, energetical misalignment that you've had to feel over the years. This is completely channeled. I'm, I mean, like the words are just coming to me one at a time. Like the generational vibratory energy of relationships in your past that set up generational patterns and curses almost are being are all being broken and the monetary value of your life is being compensated and while the two are not the same and you can't uh, create some kind of material compensation for uh, soul essence or love that has been lost money can never make up for that but it does stand in the place of it. It stands in the gap of it. It it can produce changes in your life that do energetically help you and compensate you and provide you with freedom is what I'm hearing. It's going to provide you with freedom again, like when you were a child, like when you were a child. So your dreams can come true again. This is some kind of inheritance and, and not for all of you in the literal sense. For some of you, it is money. For some of you, the universe um, the person in your family or your life who has been removed, the universe is placing, putting something else in its place to stand in the place of that person. Uh, whether they created damage in your life, the universe is creating, a, uh, putting something in the space of that person. Almost like when you get a tooth pulled and you get another tooth or something put in place of that tooth to keep the other teeth in alignment, okay, and to keep them thriving because of this gap and that's what I'm feeling it's almost like um, it's just it's like dentistry but it's like this person if they created a festering wound in your soul in your heart in your mind that lasted generations or whatever for several decades or whatever and it caused damage and harm to your health over time the universe is putting something healthier in its place after this person has been removed 
and it's not the same as, but it's gonna, it's like, it doesn't matter anymore and you know that. It's like you are just worried about, or not worried or anxious, but like your only concern and your main priority is to take care of your well-being now and for the time to come. So it's like you're accepting that as a compensation to change back the energy to the way you know it should have been. And that's what the universe is in fact doing right now and it's um, in the near future. And But you feel it. I think you've gotten word of it now or notice of it now or some kind of um, information or notification about this compensation. Whether it be monetary, whether it be something else that makes up for so like if you never had a home as a child with your family and they didn't provide you a good stable home like the universe is providing you with the purchase of your very first new home like your very first is new to you like your very first home and it's making up for so much that was lost in your childhood things of that nature that is exactly true for some of you in the literal sense and for some of you it's like do you get the picture it's like things of that nature financial security where there once was none um, romantic or love or mothering nurturing energy coming into your life where there once was none that's made you grasp more emotionally for things um, and it's breaking that pattern for you you know it's making you not so clingy not clingy in the needy sense but more like grasping you know, like afraid to lose the love in your life, you know, where the universe is turning that around and turning the tables and rectifying a lot. It's rectification emotionally, physically, security, freedom in your mind, freedom to move, freedom to go where you want in your life, just to follow your impulses, your, your little quirky childlike impulses, like I want to go here, I want to go there. And it's like that, okay? You're going to have to go deep, and it's going to unlock a lot of the mystery in your subconscious mind. It's going to have to do that in order for it to take movement. So that is where the courage is required, because the universe is laying the foundation in your life right now for a new beginning. And so you have to go, as this card says, the moon, major arcana, you've got. To me, the aces are major arcana, but I'll count the literal ones. One, two, three, four major arcana. You've got two aces, which to me are like major arcana, and you've got the figure of the queen right in the middle. This is all about your sovereignty. That is what should be first and foremost in your mind is about your own individual sovereignty air signs. You have come into your own. That is what this is all about. It's bringing you into a sense of mystery. It's even bringing some of you into a feeling of, ooh, spooky Halloween occult. It's like pulling me into this wanting to know like about the occult, that type of thing. Or I want to have psychic experiences. I want to have this like Scorpio type experience, which is here in the death card in the moon. That's like, and the moon is cancer. So see the water. There's a lot of water here in this, in this, a lot of, on this table, on this spread. A lot of water, a lot of impact. But it's all leading up to your security. And you have the foundation of it happening now. You have a, a very strong line of security right now. And it's all about your sovereignty. As represented here in the queen of discs in the form of expression you're seeing it touching it with your hands she is secure she's solid those four legs of the chair she's sitting on her two feet planted firmly on the ground her hand resting resting on her stability and one hand resting on what she owns what she has ownership of her possessions herself her love her life her family, her children, and she's crowned with that royalty, crowned with it, knowing she is sovereign, sovereign. She is not just someone's concubine. She is not just someone's cohort or um, sidekick. You know, you're, you're a sovereign being. She's a sovereign being who materializes and manifests things herself. She does it, not saying without help, 
not alone, but herself as an individual, she is capable of manifesting her life the way she wants it, no matter how many people she has had to share it with or will want to share it with. It's all coming out of the subconscious mind now. All. It's all going to make sense to you. It's all going to make sense to you. The mystery will unfold. The family patterns, the societal patterns are all going to unravel. And you're going to turn those tables. And you're going to have a beautiful life. And it's happening now. And you feel and you sense the energy of it. It, it, things have begun to change in the physical realm for you already and you're seeing the evidence of it now you are changing and you are changing your world and you changing your world in fact changes the, the outer world around you and that and the lives and that of other people and the worlds of other people as well in a good way and a strong way and a profound way giving people a solid secure foundation some of you i just got are adopting you're adopting children or you were an adopted child but there's a sense of adopting children here okay there's that energy so if you're feeling that and that's part of your history and your past or if that's part of what you're doing now or both you're setting in place a secure foundation in the adoption of these children in the adoption of this new life in the adoption of yourself, where you have felt orphaned emotionally, mentally, physically, security, orphaned. You're, you're parenting yourself. You are, re -parent. you are being a sovereign mother queen to yourself, whether you're male or female. This is like, I feel so empowered by this reading that it's like not even funny. So you, and you're the ones who are bringing this energy into this table right here, into this altar space. Okay? You're doing that. It's very personal here. Very, very personal. You're doing it. I mean, you have created life and change in this material world that we're sitting in right now. You have done that for the better for people. And you should give yourself a very strong pat on the back and acknowledge all the positive change that you have been part of uh, creating in yourself in your own life and in the lives of others you've changed your world here is this is what you've brought this is what the universe is bringing to you and you are utilizing it like nobody's business is the power of the watchtower of the east and the energy of spring and the equinox you have brought equality and balance back to this world to your world personally and to the world at large with the help of the universe and and you have been given the responsibility and the rewards of the high priest and priestess so basically you guys rock like nobody's business and I think that you're just being very blessed right now please um, connect with me if you'd like a personal reading or to donate to this channel the links are in the drop down box below and highlighted comments i hope that helped leave a comment if this resonates for you please and until we meet again until next time from my soul to yours air signs gemini libra aquarius much 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 love and brightest blessings bless you all take care bye bye